Hi guys, welcome back to the news. One thing about the internet is it never forgets. President Bola Tinubu once said he was against one Nigeria, that he never believed in one Nigeria. So therefore, he lacks the moral authority to detain Namdikano over his Biafra agitation. Now, this is coming from the IPOB's lawyer, Aloy Ejimako, who has made this known. So, my country people, this is interesting. I mean, President Bolad Metinibu once denounced the one Nigeria, and he now he's the president. He has refused to release Namdikano because... I mean, Namdi Kanu is agitating for the Biafra nation. And Tinibu had made this declaration in 1997 in an interview published by This Day where he said that he did not believe in one Nigeria and nothing was done to him. But when it comes to Namdi Kanu, his case is different. So, Barista Aloye Jimako, the special counsel for the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP Namdikanu, has noted that President Bola Tinibu lacks the moral authority to keep the IPOP leader in detention over his Biafra nation agitation. According to Alo Ejimako, there is no difference between Kanu's Biafra nation agitation and Tinibu's declaration in uh, 1997. In an interview published by this day where he said that he never believed in one Nigeria and nothing was, you know, nothing happened to him. Nothing was done to him. This day on April 13th, 1997, published an interview granted by Tinibu titled, I don't believe in one Nigeria, where he declared he do not believe in one Nigeria as championed by the late Dr. Uh, Namdi Azikiwe and Tinibu was interviewed by Ayo Arowolo, the current chief of staff to the chairman of Arise Group, Prince Nduka Ogbaigbena and Ejimako on Thursday in a post on his ex account said, having declared his belief, his disbelief in one Nigeria, Tinibu, as the Nigeria's president, should not continue to keep Namdi Kano now, who has also ex- expressed similar, you know, s- uh, sentiments in detention. Ejimako said that back then, in 1997, Tinibu proclaimed that he did not believe in one Nigeria, he did not believe in the unity of Nigeria, and he went scot-free. And today, he has become the president. So, as long as Alo Ejimako is concerned, uh, Mr. President... Bola Tinibu lacks the moral authority to detain Namdi Kanu. For Namdi Kanu to remain in detention till date is something that, you know, it's quite funny and laughable. Because nothing is different from what Namdi is saying and what uh, President Bola Tinibu once said back then. For long, Namdi Kano has been detained in the Department of the State Service DSS in Abuja since June 2021 after the former President Mohamed Buhari's government extraordinarily renditioned him from uh, Kenya. And the Nigerian government has accused Namdi Kano of terrorism related charges following his push for the establishment of a separate Biafra nation. And we know that that charges. Or those charges on Namdi Kano are just trumped up charges, you know, against Namdi Kano. But Tinibu has been called upon by several persons to do the needful. You know, as a freedom fighter he was before, Tinibu was a comrade. Tinibu was a, you know, freedom fighter. Back then, during the days of uh, Awolo Wo, Namdi Aziki, where they all, you know, they struggled. Even Che Yusani mentioned that Tinibu, you know, had protested against past administrations before him, previous administrations in the past. And now, it's the turn of the president. Yes, it's your time to do the needful. Do the needful by releasing Namdi Kano. Back then, Tinibu had a self-determination. 
The same thing goes for Namdi Kano. Self-determination is never a crime. But when it comes to the case of Namdi Kano and the IPOB agitation, the Biafra agitation, it suddenly becomes a crime in Nigeria. I mean, the only crime in Nigeria is corruption and it seems that it is eating every system in this country. You know, there are so many things going wrong in this country, but Namdi Kano seems to be the major problem for the FG. Namdi Kano seems to be the major problem for the DSS and they have refused to let him go. Namdi Kano is a prisoner of conscience. Namdi Kano is a political prisoner and this calls for his release will never cease until he is released. There are evidences. I mean, the internet never forgets. It's on the newspaper. I mean, it's everywhere that Tinibu once said he never believed in one Nigeria. And, you know, there is proof. There is evidence to, 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 to prove this fact that he once made this uh, statement. So it's quite unfortunate that... Um, you know, Tinibu, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, has decided to continue from where um, Buhari stopped by keeping Mazen Amdikano in detention. Now, a lot of people have been making comments like, had it been Namdikano was not in detention, the federal government will say that he is the organizer of this nationwide protest. Guys, it's interesting. Seriously. Because people have been giving a lot of comments regarding this and some certain persons have been in their views like, had it been Mazen Amdikano was not in the DSS custody, I know the federal government would want to point fingers at Namdikano for being the one uh, behind the protest, like as they are accusing Pito B, you know, saying Pito B is using his IPOP friends, he, he wants to bring IPOP agenda, his obedient people, his IPOP people. What's the name of this man, Mr. Bayo Ononuga? I mean, that man is well known for creating tribal war, for sparking a feud between, between two different ethnic groups, which is quite terrible, you know, for the, for, the, for the personality he has possessed. And at this point, a lot of Nigerians have been cautioning Mr. Bayonunga for his utterances. Well, it seems obvious that he's doing so because of his paymasters. But then all these talks tends to incite, you know, hatred towards different ethnic group which is terrible but then Aloy Jimako has aired his own uh, view concerning President Bola Admet Tinibu's continued detention of Namdi Kano not wanting to listen to the pleas of Nigerians I mean it's obvious that he is not bothered about Namdi Kano's case so guys I'm dropping here kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section